guys, it's Holly the Twister Sister. Welcome to another free balloon animal tutorial. Today I'm gonna to show you a super cute little turkey bracelet that I came up with. All right, so the other day I was playing around with my balloons, came up with this really cute bracelet idea for a turkey. And since it's now November and we're quickly approaching Thanksgiving, um, I thought it would be great to share this with you guys. So this takes four 260s, all the uh, Thanksgiving turkey colors, red, yellow, orange, and a mocha brown, and then a white five inch round for the eyes. You can also use a white scrap or whatever you got. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna start with the mocha 260, and we're gonna blow this up about four pumps. You wanna leave a nice long tail on the end there and go ahead and tie that off. Now, we're gonna do two pinch twists at the start of this. One, make another small round bubble and make that a pinch twist, just like that. And we're gonna do a small bubble for the neck. So this is the head of our turkey. And now we're gonna do a seven petal flower as best you can with what you have left. The trick is to make your petals as small as possible so you can fit seven of them in. And if you haven't already checked out David Brennan's video on how to do a seven petal flower, uh, I've got a link to that in the description below this video. Go check that out if you want some more in-depth instruction on the seven petal flower. Okay, we've got five petals. I'm trying to make them as small as I can so that we can fit all of this on one balloon. And I'm gonna get it just right. Okay, so I've got a little stub here. I'm gonna arrange all my petals so that they're nice and flat, laying right beside each other. So we've got our turkey with a tutu on. There we go, seven petal turkey. Now grab your red, yellow, and orange balloons and blow all of these up about two or three pumps. All right, so I've got all three of our colors here. Now two of these, I don't care which two, but two of them you need to tie together. And the one that you don't tie, we're going to make a small bubble and then another small bubble and make that second bubble a pinch twist, okay? Now we're gonna take the nozzle of this balloon and we're gonna put it between two petals on our turkey. So just pick any two petals here and just use your nozzle to wrap it in between those petals, get it locked in place. This is gonna be his, his tail feathers. I'm gonna get them sticking out between these two petals here, just like that. Okay, now this is gonna be his tail. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna attach the, our other two balloons around that pinch twist, just wrap them around the pinch twist and get everything facing up, coming up like this. This is the head of our turkey, remember? And now we're gonna do the tail. So the tail is real easy. You just come out about four or five inches, do a small bubble and make that a pinch twist. Do the same thing on all three balloons. Okay, so we have like a pinwheel kind of on his tail right now. Now we're gonna connect all of these. So just bring one balloon over to the next pinch twist and twist it into that pinch twist. And then take your next color and bring it over to the next balloon. Twist it into that pinch twist. And now to get the third little triangle here, we're just gonna use our last balloon here on the end. Bring it over, do a pinch twist and then use the rest of your balloon to connect it back into the pinch twist at the bottom of our tail. So we should have something like this now. Now at this point, you can go ahead and get rid of the rest of these, but save your yellow scrap for the beak of our turkey. Just make sure you tie these off so that they don't come undone. I'm going to grab my red tail here. I'm gonna cut off the red and I'm gonna save the red part for the little, should have looked this up before I made the video, but the little thing on the side of the turkey beak. 
Okay, I'm gonna call it the gobbler. <laughs> All right, so let's take our yellow scrap and we're just gonna need the end of this balloon. So just put a little bit of air in here, about two inches worth maybe. And then we're just gonna shoot that air to the end of our balloon so we don't have any knots or anything on our beak. Now we're gonna attach it in around our two pinch twist here at the beginning, like this. And you can go ahead and get rid of the rest of that yellow scrap, don't need that. Then we're gonna attach the eyes and I'm gonna use a five inch round and we don't want the eyes to be too big. So I'm just gonna have a little tiny ball, tie that off. I'm actually gonna cut off a bunch of the tail because it's just too much, too bulky and gets in the way. And I'm gonna twist this in half. So I have two turkey eyes and we're gonna bring that underneath the beak up top and switch places. So that they're sitting right on top of the beak like that. Now I turned the pinch twist in the back so that they're one on top of the other instead of side to side and that tends to help the eyes and everything stay where they're supposed to. So we've got this so far and now we're going to add the red gobbler <laughs> and this one I'm just going to put a tiny like the smallest bubble of air that you've ever made. So tiny 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 smaller 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 even like that. So it's like the size of a thumbnail almost, real small. And then tie the end of it. So you got your knot down here at the end and you've got this nice long inflated tail here. And we're just gonna wrap that on the side of the eye, kind of right here where the, the pinch twist meet the beak. Just wrap that in around everything in here. Wrap around the pinch twist to lock it in there. Now you can see how cute that is. It just kind of sticks out the side of there. It's a little turkey gobbler. <laughs> okay, and now I'm going to go ahead and draw the eyes on real quick. I'm just doing my standard balloon animal eyes with a small circle inside of a bigger circle. I do this for everything. I'm gonna give two little nose holes also. There you go. Now that is a cute turkey, huh? <laughs> okay, now to make this a bracelet, you could also make this a headband, so either way, or a candy cup, the, the possibilities are endless here. I'm going to make this a bracelet, so I'm just going to cut this little bit on the bottom here, and I'm going to attach a soft, squishy hair tie right on the bottom of my turkey, wrap it around a couple times so it doesn't come off. Get the tail feathers straightened out. And you have an awesome turkey bracelet, perfect for Thanksgiving or turkey season. I think they're around the same time, I don't know. Never been hunting. Uh, but there you go, that is the fun turkey bracelet. And this also looks really cool as a headband. Um, when I made this the other day, I put it on a headband, I was walking around the house with it. And it with the, the tail feathers, it kind of looks like a Vegas showgirl headpiece or something. So it's a lot of fun. Uh, I think your customers are really going to get a kick out of this. I know mine will. So post your comments down below. If you like this, let me know. Give me a thumbs up. If you're new to this channel and you uh, want to see more balloon videos like this one, don't forget to subscribe so you get notified anytime I put out a new video. Also, if you guys want to learn how to make some really cool frozen themed balloon animals, head over to my Vimeo channel at thetwistersister.com. I've just put a new video series out with all things frozen. You're gonna learn how to make a snowman, an ice queen, a snow princess, and even a goofy looking reindeer. So that is all over there, live, ready to be downloaded. And if you haven't already registered for Twist and Shout, you better go do that. I wanna see all of you at Twist and Shout. It's in Las Vegas, 2015, it's coming up. I'm looking forward to it and I wanna see everybody, all of you guys in YouTube land, I wanna see you, meet you in person at Twist and Shout 2015. Uh, so check out their website and register if you haven't already, it's gonna be epic this year just epic so you don't want to miss out all right that's it guys thank you so much and don't forget to post your pictures of your turkeys 
on my Facebook page. Link is down that way. All right, I will see you guys in next week's free balloon animal tutorial. Until then, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm horrible.